friends, it's me Fenella and this video is going to be the starving artist tag. So if you don't know, I am an illustrator, a starting illustrator and I mostly paint with watercolor and this tag is all about answering questions about being an artist, starting artist and all the related topics. I now have my iced coffee here and all of my questions ready there and let's just head on to the video. As I have said, I am just a starting artist so I don't have much experience yet but one of my favorite experience is when I started to um, really focus on my art and showing artworks on my social media accounts such as Tumblr, um, Instagram, and my own Facebook page for my artworks. I saw the support of all the people because you know even though we all say that I don't really care about what other people think. It is very motivating when you see that other people support your work especially when you know that you've been dreaming about that moment and when you know that you really want to be successful in that industry. I don't really have a very tragic or a very bad experience as an artist yet but I think my least favorite experience that I had is whenever I have all the inspiration and motivation that I need to make an art piece and I know that what I have in my mind is so great that I would be very very satisfied to myself as an artist and I really want to start on that artwork but one I don't have the materials with me or two I don't have time to start that particular artwork. I really really hate that because I am rarely motivated and inspired at the same time so whenever I have that moment I really want to start working on something right away and if I don't get that moment and if I don't have that time to do it then it will be just gone. I go with the wind. So my dreams and goals for my art is one is to be appreciated or recognized as an artist because even though I call myself an artist and actually technically I'm an artist because I create art, I'm gonna be honest, I still want the recognition from the art community, especially in the Philippines. I think it is quite hard to get that kind of recognition. Mostly I see either abstract or pop art or digital art or realism as the most preferred type of artwork. I don't fit into any of those boxes. That's why I really want my artwork to be recognized because it means that somehow Filipinos are being open to more options. And one of my dreams is to have my own business and um, I want to have my own studio and I want to own my time wherein I can really create art whenever and wherever I want. So I tried creating art using watercolor pencils, colored pencils, acrylic, gouache. I never tried old painting yet, resin I never tried also. But my favorite is watercolor. I don't know why I love the freedom and uncertainty because watercolors have their own mind. Yeah, I love how subtle it is yet we can still build up the colors to make it look more saturated. But if you want it to be opaque. You can do whatever you want. One of my hobby is um, cutting shapes out of papers, drawing manga characters, anime characters, and Disney princesses, of course. And I don't know, I just like seeing the results and I really enjoy the process behind it. It's like it takes away, it takes my mind away from all of the outside elements. <laughs> That's why I really, really love it. And I've always had these ideas in my head about my fantasies, <laughs> about like fairies, fictional worlds, and I can only express those things through creating art, whether it may be writing, um, it may be through songs, or it may be through painting an artwork. This is so hard because for me every piece is special but I'll just maybe try to pick at least three favorites. This is really hard. 
So the first one would be the mushroom house that I did. I really love how the colors turned out. And I've always believed when I was younger that there are small creatures living in those tiny mushrooms even though smurfs aren't there yet or whatever. I just really believe that there are fairies inside those mushrooms. That's why I've always envisioned mus mushrooms as tiny houses. It's like a representation of my imagination during my childhood. That's why I really, really love this art piece. And the next one is my Hufflepuff pattern, I guess. My Hufflepuff pride pattern art piece. I've always strived for a look that is um, similar to those old illustrated children's book that I used to have when I was younger. And I think that this piece um, really represented those kind of illustrations and I am Hufflepuff and I really love Hufflepuff stuff and it's like all of the things that I love in one piece of artwork and the next one that I will mention is this doodle yes it is just a doodle and I just used colored pencil and I did it at work um, for I guess five minutes this is really this art piece is really special for me because I don't usually draw or don't usually sketch male subjects and this one is actually a fun art for Daniel Howell. For the first time, I drew something that actually looked like male and I don't know, it's just like delicate and dainty, that's why um, yeah, I'm kind of proud of it. My biggest art influence are actually those children books that I had since I was a very young child because I remember that one of my earliest gifts are actually illustrated books of famous fairy tales. So those children books are actually my biggest art influences. I'm going to confess something. I never really shared my dream of being an artist um, because I never thought that it would be possible at all because as I've said, I think in Philippines the community or art community then is so little and it's like I don't think that I have a chance of being an artist at all. Not until I graduated from college which is actually something that I regret but when they knew about my dreams of being an artist of course they are not really 100% on board with it I guess that's the case with everybody I think or at least most of the people most of the artists because um, it is not something that is very stable or it is not something that can give you a steady income so I know that my family and friends are worried about me like where would I get money for food or where would I get money to take care of myself that's why they are not really that on board but they always tell me that I might be able to make it and whenever I have something to share they are willing to share it as well and that now that I'm starting my small business I can see the support from my family they are the first one to um, avail products from my shop and they also help me to sell and also my friends ah I am really really thankful to my friends and also my boyfriend which is now the one who is taking care of all the orders so now I am just focusing on doing my best and proving them that I can actually do something about my art and my art eventually help me get through anything as I've said um, I never thought of being an artist at all when I was younger I love doing it um, it is actually one of the things that I love to do most but my childhood dream was being a performer a dancer and a singer but that didn't happen so now this is like wait I love writing stories and I always have something in my mind I am a very imaginative person and I think I have a decent skill when it comes to creating artwork so yeah and now I think there are more opportunities for artists that's why it's like maybe this is really my calling I wish it is my calling and I'm going to work hard on it and I hope that this time 
I will be successful. <laughs> be brave enough to do something even though you know that it won't be that great or you think that it won't be that great. Be brave enough to do it um, even though you, you don't have any intentions of sharing it. Um, just being satisfied to yourself that you are able to finish something or you are able to even start on something is a big deal already and do not be limited by the things that people are into example um in my country um mostly people are into realism and pop art as i've said before or abstract art or the likes but my style isn't that well um, accepted yet in my country um that was actually this encouraging for me at first but i was like maybe i can be one of those people who would pioneer that kind of style in my country that's why yeah i think you just have to believe in your style believe in yourself believe in the things that you want to do and one day you might get the recognition that you deserve of course the answer is no because i haven't even told them that I wanted to be an artist when I was a child because I already told myself that it's impossible and that's actually a very stupid thing to do. I guess I can say that I do make money off of my art because I am actually starting to um, sell products based on my art and um, I am actually starting to accept commissions but I can't really call it one of my source of income yet. Because I am just starting and I think I am just trying if people would actually accept my work and I hope that they will and I hope that this business that I'm starting would actually grow someday and yeah, hopefully someday I can make money off of it. I want to capture the innocence of childhood and being imaginative and being creative and being wild and crazy inside your mind. I really want to improve my anatomy. I'm actually studying anatomy right now again but I don't want to study the realism anatomy. I don't know if that's what you call it. I want to study cartoon anatomy especially those noodle-like style. I just want to give up the feeling of freedom or letting yourself being creatively wild or imaginative if you understand what I mean. I want people to feel like they can embrace those worlds that they have inside their minds whenever they see my artwork. My favorite thing to paint is actually mushroom houses. Um, I don't know why, as I've told you before, I really think that there are small creatures living inside them and I think they're very rustic. I think that they are very imaginative and it's like, it is where my imagination really came from since the beginning of time. <laughs> and now I also love female characters. I don't know why because before I hate drawing people. Because I think that when you draw people, you already have this kind of it must look like this, it must do this, or it must be like this. But now I just don't care if they look um, cartoonish, then go. If they look realistic, then go. If they look like a certain way, then I should just let them be. It is not an actual painting or artwork per se, but there is this strange era that I had um, wherein I really don't like painting um, eyes on my illustrations. I don't know why because I really love painting eyes ever since and I do believe that eyes is the um, window of your soul but um, there is this era that I just like I don't want to paint eyes and I think that that is beautiful so yeah that's actually one of the strangest things that I ever had to my allergies for it. And yes I've been hung up many times um, because I really suck at saying no and especially if they are my friends I just can't tell them 
that hey you've asked me for this um, commission you need the payment now where is it I am just too awkward it is unfortunate for me to say that I didn't handle them right because I just gave them the artwork or I just let them have the artwork and I just stopped asking for the payment yay for awkward people yes very much <laughs> I want to tell my younger self that I should be more open about my dreams and aspirations because I think that if I am more open to that, then maybe my family and friends would actually help me um, achieve those goals even at a younger age. I should not stop making artworks just because I don't fit it into any category of um, accepted artworks in the Philippines because I stopped making artworks when I was in high school until college because I see a lot of artists and I have a lot of friends who are artists that really made me more insecure than I am already um, because it's like they are so their drawings or their sketches are so good and then they are so realistic and a lot of people love them and it's like no, nothing that I do is even comparable to what they are able to create so I just stopped I said maybe um, this is crazy I should not be um, making anything until I realized later on that each artist or everyone has their own style and everyone has their own message to tell people so why should I even compare myself to them but I must admit that I still do sometimes compare myself and I'm still a bit insecure about my artwork but I'm trying to really fight um, to that kind of mentality because I know that it's not healthy at all. So those are all the questions for this starving artist tag and if you are still with me then thank you thank you thank you I know that this video is so long and I don't know if I rambled too much but um, I am really thankful that you watched this video. Thank you for supporting my YouTube channel. I know it's just very small and I really, really appreciate every views that I could get. Don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed watching this video. If you want to do your own starving artist tag, um, I have all the questions on the description down below. Um, you can actually create your own. You can tag me if you want. You can post it as a video response if you want. And it would be very, very great if you would subscribe to my channel. I would promise to make more content. I hope you have a nice day. Bye!